I think I know why you clicked on this uh, video here, right? You're down there in Tampa, man. It's sunny. You're just chilling. You're just hanging, dude. Probably in your lanai. Yeah, see? My grandpappy, he had a summer home in Florida. I, I know what a lanai is, right? That's Florida speak for a uh, porch with some uh, screens on it, y'all. A lot of mosquitoes down there. But anyway, you're chilling in your lanai, nice and warm, and you're like, man, I need to buy me some of them cheap houses, baby. Look at this four-unit apartment building, right? Four-unit apartment buildings out there in the Midwest in those cash flow markets. They are cheaper than anything we ever seen here in Florida. Hold on there a minute, Skippy. I don't want you guys going out there dropping the money on these deals until you really understand what you're buying. And guess what, folks? That's what I'm going to do for you here because I specialize in helping people from Tampa get into investments that make money and stay out of ones that don't. And today, my client, Walter, from Tampa, Florida, sent this to me, and I'm going to break it down live. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and today's show is all about this four-unit apartment building for my man, Walter from Tampa, Florida. Now, Walter, you sent this to me. This thing is up there in Cleveland, Ohio, right? 5902 Linwood Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44103. $119,900. You are down in Tampa looking at the Cleveland market because, folks, if you Google cash flow markets, best places to invest, best cash flow markets, all that stuff, turnkey investing, Cleveland's always on the top of the radar. Why? Because you can get friggin' four unit apartment buildings for 1199. But Walter, you're smart. You're like, dude, I don't know the Cleveland market. Before I drop my coin, I need you to tell me what's up. All right. That's what I'm here for, dog. Solid. This is what the listing agent said, right? Solid. All brick, four unit apartment building, fully rented and ready to go. Start collecting instant cash flow, which is currently nineteen fifty a month. Nineteen fifty a month. Y'all talk about the one percent roll, the two percent roll. That's like, what is that? Is that is that like the four percent roll or something? I don't know. I can't even do that math off the top of my dome here because that is just so much monthly rent on a price to rent ratio, right? There have been updates over the years. Most tenants are long-term and are on yearly leases being sold as is. So, so much rent, right? I don't even know. So much price-to-rent ratio here. It's off the chain. Off the chain. So, obviously, it's probably the best deal in the world, right? Wait a second. It's been on the market for 94 days. If you're new to the Cleveland market, guess what? Let me learn you a little something. When you put a rental property on the market in Cleveland and the numbers make sense, it's a solid investment. You're selling it for fair market value. You know how often it goes 90 days without a buyer? Almost never. It usually sells within days, sometimes within hours, multiple offers. This deal is garbage. Yeah, folks, that's right. There's a little more to it than just price to rent ratio. This deal is garbage okay you see this street here okay this is where our property is this is a vacant lot 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 right if i didn't know any better i think this is ukraine getting bombed down by the russians where'd all the buildings go folks Right? It's not. But it is the hardcore ghetto. Vacant lot, 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 vacant lot. Vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot. I could see everybody in the comments now like, dude, that was really offensive. Guys, guys, I support, support Ukraine, but, you know, 
sometimes you got you got you got to make jokes. All right, it's just a joke. Settle down, y'all. Settle down. Calm down. Anywho, the moral of the story is all these vacant lots. What happens is these are properties that get dilapidated. Okay, they get. Uh, to the situation where it would actually cost more money to fix them than what they'd be worth because the ARVs in this neighborhood are so low. So they're so bad, people just say, screw this. My house is only worth like 40 k It would cost me 80 k to fix it. I don't want to deal with it. I just walk away. Government takes it over tax foreclosure and then just tears it down. Right? You get negative values here. Right? So you are in an area that is so... Oh, my gee. Oh, I didn't even notice this street. Holy smokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen vacant lots right there, folks. Fifteen vacant lots on the street right there, right? So you get this neighborhood uh, where the lots are just worth next to nothing, right? So you are in like one of the worst friggin' neighborhoods in the United States of America, right? So the odds of you actually collecting that 1950 on a regular basis are almost nil. Uh, the ARV on your property, like, dude, you're going to be buying the most expensive property in the area, right? There's a reason all these properties end up with negative equity. I see almost no scenario, Walter, uh, where you will make any money at all. Side note. Back to the Ukraine thing, I'm starting to feel a little guilty about that joke. I feel like comedy is appropriate, though, for the Ukraine-Russian conflict. You all know that the president of Ukraine actually used to be a comedian. Did you guys know that? Yeah, he was a comedian. You should actually Google uh, Ukrainian president playing piano with his dick. Amazing. Amazing content, dude. They got like a, it's kind of like an American Idol thing out there, right? It's an American Idol thing. And... Literally, the Ukrainian president is just playing piano with his cock. Oh, my. It is freaking hilarious, dude. Google that, folks. Ukrainian president playing piano with his dick. If anybody would appreciate a joke or two, it'd be that man. That's freaking sweet. I thought Trump was awesome because he was the first president of the United States of America to take a stone-cold stunner. Now we got the Ukrainian president playing piano with his dick. See, I'm pro-Ukraine, folks. That's amazing. That's that's just epic, right? You know who doesn't do cool stuff like that? Joe Biden. But anyway, let's get back to the the the, the task at hand here. All right, so here's the sitch. This property for you, Walter, would be a horrible investment. I see almost no scenario where you make any money. In addition to all that, you know what else you got? A property with no lead paint certification. The seller did not go through the process and get the property lead certified. That, my friend, is a huge deal. Possibly almost as big as of a deal as everything I just talked to you about. If you're trying to invest in Cleveland real estate and you don't know about the new lead certification laws, whoo boy, you're in for a treat. I got a video uh, in the notes below. It's about a half hour long explaining the new cumbersome process that every landlord in the Cleveland market needs to go through to get their properties lead certified. And when you're in a neighborhood like this, where the properties get to the point where the ARV is less than the repairs needed, and then you add on these new lead laws, dude, it's very possible that in five years or ten years, you look at this lot, it's now going to be one of those vacant lots, right? Because sometimes these buildings, I don't have any interior photos, and it's brick, not wood, so I don't 100% uh, think that that will exactly happen here, but sometimes... These new lead costs on some of these older properties, they get out of control, which would be just a whole nother th like thing of risk for this property. So any way you slice it, Walter, I see no scenario where you, a first-time investor from Tampa, make any money buying this property. And that, my friend, is why you hired me. I just saved you 120000 and told you where you could find a video of the president of Ukraine playing piano with his dick. That is amazing, folks. That is what you get here on Holt Wise TV. So I suggest you all subscribe. And, Walter, if you'd like me to actually find investments uh, that I think will fit with your criteria, let me know. I'll get those to you in a week or two. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holt Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.